Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have seen so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So, if you could carefully observe this pattern, in this pattern we have this 5 value coming in this diagonal way from left to right and for above and below this particular diagonal we are having this particular symmetric shape which is having this particular 4 and above this 4 we have 3s, 2s, 1s in the similar way below this diagonal we are having this 4s and 3s, 2s and 1 so like this we are having this particular uniqueness in this particular pattern so in order to print this particular pattern what we will be doing is that we will divide this whole pattern into two separate patterns which is one this above pattern and second this below pattern so by combining both of them we can get the whole pattern so for the time being let us start with printing this particular above pattern in order to print this particular above pattern i will take a variable rows and i will assign with five because if you observe this pattern we have five rows right row one row two row three row four and row five we have five rows apart from these five rows and these particular values we are also having spaces in this particular pattern which are present before these particular numbers so in order to keep track of these spaces and in order to print these spaces i will take a variable spaces is equal to zero because in the first row we don't have any spaces before these numbers for that reason i am taking spaces as zero later in order to generate this many number of rows i will use a for loop for i in range so now i will be generating a range of values and the question is what are the range of values you will be generating so if you could observe this particular pattern we have this right diagonal which is here having values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now, if you could able to generate these diagonal values, we can generate all of these values. So how? I will show you. First, for the time being, let us take this particular diagonal values. For that, I will start with 1 and I will go till the value of rows plus 1 because in rows, we are having the value 5 and we need to go till the value 5, right? So for that reason, I am mentioning rows plus 1. By the functionality of range function, I will be stopped at 5. So in this for loop, I will just print the value i in order to know what values we are having in this variable i. So now if I execute this, I am able to get the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the exact values that we are expecting from this diagonal here right so now by using this i values we can able to generate all of these values in every single row so if you could able to observe in every single row we are starting with 5 and going till the value i which is 1 in this first row we are starting with i going till the value I. we are starting with 5 and going till the value of i which is 2 in the second row in the third row we are starting with 5 and going till the value i which is 3 in this case. So like that, in every single row, we are starting with the value 5 and going till the value i. So in order to generate that, what we will be doing is that when we have repeated statement, all these are repeated statements, right? In every single row, these statements are repeating, which are starting with 5 and going till the value i. So for that reason, we will use loops. So for that, I will use a for loop inside of this loop for j in range now we will generate range of values as we have discussed so we will i we will start with rows and go till the value of this particular i that is what we have discussed so for that i am mentioning i minus 1 i am reducing with minus 1 so by mentioning this i minus 1 by the functionality of this range i will be stopped at this particular i value so if you got any confusion in this range function I will suggest you to go through my video range function so that you can able to understand this clearly. So here in this for loop, what I will be doing is that instead of printing this particular i, I will print the value j here. Now if I execute this, we can able to get the values which are 54321, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. So these are the exact values that we are having in this particular pattern. So now the only thing we need to do is that 
we need to arrange these values so that we can able to get the whole pattern for that what i will be doing is that i will mention an end with a single space because by default th this print function having this end parameter as new line character by mentioning this single space we are telling that we only want a single space now if i execute this we can able to get all values in the single line itself so as we have discussed and we can we can see in this pattern after reaching this values in every single row to the value i we need to give we need to get a new line so for that reason after completion of this inner for loop i will use a print here so by this print it will generate a new line by the help of this end parameter defaultly having a new line so now if i execute this we can able to get all these numbers in a new line after once it reaches to the value i so now we haven't got the exact pattern because we don't print the spaces before these numbers so we need to print spaces for that as and when we enter into this outer for loop i will be using a print and i am mentioning a space and multiplying with spaces this is what exactly that we are using in order to keep track of the spaces for that reason we are using string multiplication in order to multiply this single space with spaces variable and i will use an end parameter with is nothing because by default this end is having new line so we don't want any new line for that reason we are mentioning with nothing so now what i will be doing is that if you could carefully observe this pattern in every single row after completion of that row the spaces are increasing right so in order to increase after completion of this inner for loop i will mention a spaces plus equal to 1 so that the spaces will be increased by 1 on each iteration so now if we execute this we can able to get the exact above pattern that is what we have expected so i hope so far you have understood this logic and so far you are enjoying this video if that is true hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so next what we will be doing is that we will generate this particular below pattern so we will follow the similar procedure what we have followed to generate above pattern in order to generate this particular below pattern for that what i will be doing is that i will use a for loop to generate this many number of below rows here so for that for k in range now we will use a range function in order to generate this diagonal values which are having 4 3 2 1 so once we generate this diagonal values 4 3 2 1 by the help of these values we can able to generate every value here so in order to generate this diagonal values i will start with rows minus 1 because in rows we are having the value 5 so in order to start with 4 i am mentioning rows minus 1 so later we need to go till the value 1 so for that i am mentioning my 0 and i am decreasing the values because here the values are getting decreased right so in this for loop i will just print the value k so that we can able to get the value k and know and compare this particular pattern with this k values so if you could able to compare this k values with this pattern here in every single row we are starting with value k and going till the value of 5 in first row we are starting with k which is 4 and going till the value 5 in the second row we are starting with value k which is 3 and going till the value 5 in the third row we are starting with the value k and going till the value of 5 like that in every single row this pattern is repeating so what we do when we have repeated statements we generally use loops right so that is what i will be doing in here also for l in range so as we have discussed the range of values would be starting with k and go till the value of 5 which is rows so i will mention rows plus 1 so it will reach to the value 5 so in this what i will be doing is that instead of printing this k i will print the value l here so that we can get to know what values we are having so here you can able to see we are having the values 4 5 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 1 2 and these are the exact values that we are having in this particular pattern so the only thing now we need to do is that we need to arrange these values so that we can able to get the whole pattern 
So to arrange, I am using this end parameter with a single space so that we can get every value in the single line. So after once we reach to the value of 5 here in this for loop, we need to print a new line that is what happening here. So for that, I will simply print this particular statement so that by having this end parameter as a new line by default, it will generate a new line. So if I execute this, we can able to get the below pattern in this format, which is getting a new line. So after once this L value is reaching to the value 5. So the only thing we need to do is that we need to print these spaces before here. So for that, as and when we enter into this inner outer for loop, I am using a print and I am taking this space and multiplying this with the spaces variable and I am mentioning end as nothing. So now if I execute this, we don't get the exact pattern, but we need to modify these spaces, right? So these spaces are reducing on each new line. So for that, I am doing some modification to spaces on each iteration. So I am reducing the spaces. Now, if we execute this, we have some problem with respect to this pattern because here we are using this spaces variable for both above pattern and below pattern. As we are using for both above and below, we are getting some spaces which are deviating to the pattern. So to know what values we are having in spaces, I am just printing the spaces here. So I am printing here. So if I execute this here, we can able to see the spaces as 5 because we are getting increased the spaces on each iteration. So if you could compare this particular below pattern in the first row, we have only 1, 2, 3 spaces. So we only have 3 spaces, but we are getting the spaces which are 5. So that is the reason we are not getting the exact pattern. So if you could reduce these spaces by 2, we can able to get the exact pattern. For that, what I will be doing is that I am mentioning spaces minus equal to 2. So this will reduce the spaces by 2. So now if I execute this, we can able to get the exact pattern that you can see here. So I hope so far you have understood this logic to generate this pattern. So if you found any difficulty while understanding this logic to generate this pattern, I sincerely suggest you to watch the video once again so that you can able to understand it clearly. So now we will take dynamically rows input from the user. So int input enter rows. So I am asking user to enter rows here. So this is enter. So if I execute this, it was asking to enter rows. Let's say I am giving the value as 6 here. So we can able to get this diagonal coming the value as 6 and above and below, below this pattern, we are having the symmetrical shape in this pattern. So now if I give the value, let's say 9 here, so we can still able to get the pattern having this diagonal value as 9 and above and below, we are getting the symmetric pattern in this way. So, so far, by using this pattern, we can generate any pattern like this by giving input from the user. So I hope you have understood this logic and I hope you have found this video interesting. If that is true, hit the like button. In the next video, we will see how we can generate this particular pattern. In this pattern, we are having this diagonal 5 in this direction from right, right to to left. So this is quite opposite to the logic and pattern that what we have seen. So to stay updated to watch this particular video, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.